Welcome to Carpooling with Ben, folks. LLSRI, they are just on a mission to help support uh, all the research that's going on and support the families that are affected by cancer, specifically the blood cancers, that being leukemia, lymphoma, thus LLSRI. And joining me in the car is a very uh, important component to that whole operation, a specialist, if you will, a campaign specialist. That's right, we're not in the elections, ladies and gentlemen. She is Jordan Kuzniak of LLSRI, campaign specialist, and we are coming up once again on the whole Man Woman of the Year campaign, but you focus on students. I do. Because students are the future. How is that? For better or worse. It's great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jordan, thanks for coming into the vehicle. Thank you for and, having uh, me. I'm and, and on this the release of this being Veterans Day weekend. Thank you for your service. You're a Navy vet relocated here. So before we talk about Student of the Year, talk to me about how you got involved with LLS and how you ended up here in Southern New England, Rhode Island. So um, while I was in the military, I found out about this team and training campaign that helps athletes complete endurance events. And uh, while they're training for these events, they're fundraising for LLS. I lost a cousin to leukemia okay. when I was younger, and I wanted to do something in her memory. So I got started that way and ran a couple half marathons and a marathon. And um, when I got out of the military, they're like, well, you know, there's a job position open if you want to apply for it. Nice. And that seemed like a really great opportunity. So next year, it'll be five years that I've been with LS. Wow. So I moved last year from the Virginia chapter of LS uh, up to the one in Warwick. Okay, and uh, thanks to the Navy and and being married to a Navy uh, a Navy guy, uh, what a chef, a chef, chef. The Navy chefs I hear are like the best chefs. Oh, yes. Uh, they... <laughs> when I first started dating him, my mom said, "Now I have to honestly ask you: Do you like him, or do you just like the food he cooks?" And I was like, "I don't want to answer that question." Yeah, the, that's that's where that whole Fifth Amendment thing comes in, <laughs> which you fought to protect and, and defend, which we appreciate. I still do. <laughs> <laughs> always, always, of course. But uh, so you got involved with LLS, and that's that's you know it's incredible that it's part of the whole story about your 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 family and your cousin that you lost. And it seems like everybody has a connection somehow to cancer. And you know, as as time goes on, it's not just a connection to cancer. It's like okay, this person is a connection to breast cancer. This one's a connection to colon cancer. You. Uh, 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 with the connection to leukemia, lymphoma. Obviously, Carla Mulhern, who's the area director, Rhode Island chapter director, rather. Uh, you know, her best friend growing up. You know, mm -hmm. that was that was something. And we had all the candidates for Man Woman of the Year in the car uh, before, and they all had their special reason, whether it be a friend or a family member, a brother or you know, a sister, a sibling, a parent, whoever. Talk to me about Student of the Year and what this program does. So Student of the Year is really great because I think of it as an introduction to um, for these kids to be able to see how they can be a part of something that's bigger than themselves, how they can individually impact their community. Um, and it does really show you that we all have these special things that have touched our lives and how we can all make a difference. Um, initially, the kids, they want to get the scholarships and the community service hours. Um, but it becomes so much bigger than that. You know, they, they're they put into situations where they're pushed out of their comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. And it's really great to be able to see them kind of feel empowered to be in this situation. And they really have to, to go out in the community and talk to people and articulate why this cause is important to them. And I think it brings a level of maturity to the situation that it really helps them see kind of outside of themselves and okay. really look past the, the minor trivialities that we all kind of get caught up in. And I think it gives them a really great experience. Um, but it does help them learn to manage people. It gives them really great leadership skills, but they're also learning about networking and uh, financial literacy, which I feel like is something that we're still kind of trying to learn sure. ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and these kids are getting this experience when they're, you know, 15, 16, 17. So I think it really sets them up a really great thing and I, I think it's also too really important for them to learn that it's very fulfilling to give back 
yeah. and that you're getting just as much when you're giving your time. No, that's, uh, that's, those are all great points and those are lessons. I mean, we have great teachers in Southern New England, there's great teachers all across the country. Sometimes those lessons are taught uh, in unique ways in school, but being outside of the classroom, that's really like this hybrid learning environment. And, and I like what you said there because sure, the attraction is the scholarship and the community service hours if they're in that fortunate position where they don't know somebody who's been affected by LLS. But you said, you know, they, they get so caught into that mission mm -hmm. that Absolutely. they stick with it, and that's huge. And how great has it been for the organization as these young students come in? You guys are teaching them a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, they can also be teaching you a lot about new media, what's, what's out there, how things are being perceived by their generation and, and going forward. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they, well, you know, and it reinvigorates me as well. You know, I think that as adults, we get discouraged and knocked down so easily by life and we become really cynical. These kids really don't have that mentality yet. Like they really haven't had the world experience to be able to, to become cynical. So they have this boundless energy and inspiration and they really take something and run with it. And it, it really keeps my energy up as well. And it, and it makes it just so much more enjoyable to be able to come in every day and work with them. Yeah. So how do kids, students, young adults, these youth, what's the parameters here? How do they get involved? Kind of give us the overview uh, if they're watching at home. And folks, if you are watching this, please uh, share this episode, like, follow, subscribe uh, to help spread the word so we can... I would love nothing more, sorry, but to put you out of a job absolutely. because we have a cure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, uh, no offense. And you no. could just, yeah. you know, you could just do something else and, and enjoy your, your husband's amazing cooking, uh, which by the way, I need his number because I'd love to uh, <laughs> arrange a tasting if possible. But talk to me about those parameters. So the campaign itself is seven weeks. It kicks off on February 3rd and it ends with our grand finale on March 21st at Kirk Bray Country Club. Okay. Um, but right now, I'm accepting applications for any students that are interested. Um, we're meeting, we're having some different goal planning, strategizing sessions, okay. um, because I really like to take the time to get to know the kids and what their strengths are and what they're interested in doing, uh, what they're interested in. So that way we can really personalize a plan for them. If they're not great planners, then we won't have them do a big event. But if there's something that they've done in the past, you know, we really try to play to their strengths and make sure that it's something that they're enjoying because okay. I want to make sure that their experience with LS is as great as my first volunteer experience with LS was because I know that that will keep them coming back and it'll keep them engaged. It's impressive that it's not just a cookie cutter thing. Hey, you got to be this old, you got to be this here, you do these things here. And, uh, you know, so long as you complete it all, it doesn't matter if you pass fail, you, you just sign off and go. Uh, the investment from you and the leadership there uh, that's that's key and critical because that's you're right that's going to hook them mm -hmm. that's going to keep them involved and engaged until such time as we need to you know find a new new thing to you know to go after which there's plenty of there but you know that all takes time uh, how is it best for people to you know for a young person to, to get involved and, and what are the ages exactly so it's open to any high schoolers in okay. Rhode Island. So it's a national campaign, but the campaign itself is done on a state basis. Okay. So it's all of Rhode Island. Uh, it's open to any high schoolers, as long as they're under 18. Okay. And um, they can go to studentsoftheyear.org slash apply. Okay. That this is where um, they can apply themselves, or if there's an adult that has a student in mind, whether it's, you know, a neighbor, or a niece or nephew or their own child, they can go and nominate them as well. That's awesome. So if you're watching this outside of Rhode Island, uh, just go to the, the main LLS page uh, to see if your state's doing a, a program like this or what the time frame is for that. And uh, because regardless, the, the benefits are still gonna be the same. The, uh, that, that, that experience, that individual touch is gonna be still there in getting people involved. Um, once the campaign gets ramped up, talk to me a little bit about what's what they'll do in that that time frame there, that seven weeks. So that's a really fun, crazy time. But uh, crazy time. <laughs> we're having a lot of events. Uh, we're really setting into motion all of the plans that we've been making okay. for the l last couple of months. So by the time February comes here, I will probably have an event 
every single weekend. There was one time in February, this past February's campaign, I had five events in one night that I had to try to go to. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's really fun. It's really great for them to see all of their hard work finally come to fruition. Yeah. Uh, and also realize, too, that they have to pivot sometimes when things don't go the way that they expect them to go. Sure. That's, that's really great for them to see firsthand. Um, but it's just a lot of events. We have our candidate workshop to prepare them right before kickoff. That's January 11th. Okay. And then we have our, our kickoff on the 3rd. So really between the 3rd and the 21st, they're just out there pushing LS, trying to get as much awareness as possible and uh, trying to win that title of student of the year. I got a great idea. Parents, if you're watching, the holidays are coming. Buy your kid nothing. <laughs> Take the money you would spend, write a check, and give that to the child. Of course, make it out to LLSRI. Of and course. say, here you go, here's your start. <laughs> See you in March. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, that could be a that could be a cool gift Absolutely. to give this holiday season and Absolutely. get them launched in. I mean, you're not just giving them the gift of seven weeks, you know, of, of, of crazy activity. Uh, you're, you're giving them a lifetime worth of experience, the resume builder you know, Absolutely. alone. I mean, that's huge. We've had some students that have reached out to us after the fact, and they're like, you know, my college specifically said that they saw that, and they really were really? impressed by it. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. So how can people yeah. get a hold of you if they have questions or if they want more information? So the easiest way to get a hold of me is just to send me an email. Okay. I'm checking that constantly yeah. because... 10 o'clock at night, kids have questions. They do. You have that's to, when, that's when you, they have the most questions. That, that's th my working hours, maybe from nine to five, but their working hours are up until at least 1130 or midnight. Well, I mean, those TikTok videos aren't gonna produce themselves. <laughs> yes. You know, you gotta get it done sometime and then you get around to the questions. <laughs> so um, my email is jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N dot Kuzniak, K-U-Z-N-I-A-K at L-L-S dot O-R-G. Awesome. We will link that in the comments. Folks, go along, follow, and once again, if you wouldn't mind, please, please uh, subscribe and share this because this message is so critical. Uh, you know, every day we're losing people to leukemia, lymphoma, uh, and it, we, we got to put a stop to it. This is one of the greatest ways this money goes to fund research. It goes to help uh, families in the area that are affected by it. So you've seen Carly, you've seen all the other folks in the car before. Jordan's first time. Jordan, great Thank job. You Thank you. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Go, just go now. Yeah. Just write checks. Do it. Write checks.